What's up everybody, Adam here with the trailer Today we have a 2022 Ford F450 and we're gonna be taking a look at the Timberin suspension enhancement. So here is what we added today. So we basically just replaced the factory bump stops. So there's a lot of different situations where we're gonna really need these. We'll notice the gap down here. We're gonna have a lot less of a gap than we did with the factory system. So if your vehicle sags under a load, whenever you have a lot of stuff in here, you have a 450, you're planning on doing some pretty big stuff with it. So a lot of the times it'll make your headlights just go way up bright and you're blinding everybody that you're driving against. Also with less of a load on the front wheels, we are going to have a little bit less good steering and handling just because of the weight transferred to the back. So you bought a big old truck. You're planning on doing quite a lot of heavy hauling. So this isn't going to increase our capacity of our truck. It is gonna have a limit of 12,000 pounds, but it is going to do a lot for you. What? Well, a lot of that sag, whenever you have a lot of load in the back, what happens is it starts going like that. One, you're gonna be that guy on the highway that everybody's flashing your lights at because once your front end starts to raise, it's gonna look like high beams and you're gonna be blinding everybody. You don't wanna be that guy, trust me. Also, whenever that weight kind of transfers to the back, there's gonna be less weight on the front. So, less weight on the front, that's what steers. We're not gonna have near as good of handling as if we have these on and it's a little bit more level to where we keep the weight kind of distributed a little bit more. Also, with the leaf springs, they're gonna engage a lot quicker with the timber and suspension system. So your leaf springs aren't gonna be working a whole lot. It's gonna limit trailer sway and all sorts of stuff. So if you really just wanna kind of protect your truck and just make the whole riding experience a little bit nicer, this is definitely the way to go. Whether you're hauling with a ball mount or a gooseneck or a fifth wheel, it's not gonna have any interference with the gooseneck or fifth wheels in the bed of your truck. So you don't have to worry about that. Some of you guys were wondering and Adam's saying it's not gonna be a problem. So one, I like the black color because it doesn't really stick out like the factory ones. And also these are a lot smaller than the ones we put on here. There's only about a finger's length in between there. So they're definitely gonna engage even with some of the lighter loads. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna show you some footage of the factory ones just to see how they don't really engage at all. Right now we have the factory suspension on our F450 and we're gonna add a bunch of weight in the back and go over our test cores to see how the factory setup handles. After reviewing the footage, we didn't even get the suspension to go all the way down to the bump stops. It's pretty much just because this is a 450. It's a big boy and it's built to carry bigger loads. So pretty much what we're gonna do is throw the Timberins on and see if that's gonna help us out at all. Basically what we're looking for here is to just eliminate the suspension sag, reduce trailer sway, and just optimize how it handles the load. Here at E-Trailer, we have some really nice lifts in the shop, but I don't have a lift at home and I doubt you do too. So we're gonna do it on the ground today and all you need is a 15 millimeter socket to remove the old hardware. Make sure you have a deep well socket and we're gonna have a nut on this side and then one on the other side we just have to remove. I don't like using power tools with this. I know it takes a little bit more time, but we just don't wanna put them under too much stress. So just remove them by hand. What I'm gonna do is assemble this before we put it on the truck. So what we wanna do, this is gonna go on our frame. And then on this side, it's gonna be a little threaded hole. We're gonna have two sides to our little bump stop. One's gonna have this little piece like this. The other side's gonna be a little bit bigger. And there's a washer in there. So you wanna line this up. There's one bolt that comes with our kit. So kind of just put it on there and do your best. It'll be really easy with like a magnetic socket. And all you need to install it is a 17 millimeter socket. You might need an extension to get all the way down in there. All right, we're locked on. If you can't get it 
very tight in your hands. Once we have it mounted up, this thing's not going to be twisting, and we can always tighten it later on. But now, it's all assembled, and we are ready to put it on. Since we're doing this on the ground, and we have a decent height difference between the two, we are going to have to kind of lift that suspension up. So we don't want to lift it by the axle because obviously the suspension is connected to the axle. So just go right in the center of your hitch receiver and just jack it up a little bit so we can get it into place. It'll make it a lot easier to do. That should be enough. We are going to reuse the two nuts that came off of the truck. And then what, one other thing we're going to do is we're going to have these little shims. They're going to go on each side like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it up into place, kind of get it threaded in, and then slide these things in as the last couple turns uh, to tighten it down. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going over it now because you might not be able to get a great shot. But now you can just take it and just put it back exactly where the other one was. Pretty simple. So now we got plenty of room. Put on our old nuts. And we can take our little shims and put them into place. Then we just need to grab the 15 millimeter socket and hand tighten this. And once we get that all tightened down, you can go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. We got both sides done. So now, bring her down. And we're gonna take it on that same exact test course and see how they do. Well, as you can see from the GoPro footage, we achieved what we were looking for. And what was that? Well, we were making sure that we wanted to get those bump stops to engage. And before, when we went on the test course footage, they weren't even hitting. So the leaf springs were doing all of that work. It's just going to prolong life of your leaf springs and just give you a smoother ride with those heavier loads. And again, that's pretty much it for a look at the Timberin suspension enhancement for your 2022 Ford F450.